Oh, Hi, Colin. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. I wanted to show you this game, Kitty Powers Matchmaker. It looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, very, very colorful. Uh, so this is a dating sim uh, where you play as uh, you sort of make your own little avatar, your own little person. And Kitty Powers, uh, who is a, a sort of famous drag queen, uh, sort of she's your employer. She has a matchmaking business and it's your job to match people up and go on dates and, and have all of this fun. So this is sort of a... A first date right here between Minty and I think his name is Wayland. <laughs> uh, and uh, we're about to go on a little date and the dates are all basically a collection of tiny little mini games and, and sort of uh, you want to match these people up by their interests, their looks, all of these all of these little things. Yeah, I don't really know if I see Minty and Wayland as a couple, but I guess it's our job to try to make sure that they, that they get it on, right? Absolutely, yeah, we want to make sure they have a great time together and that they, uh, that they, you know, sort of, if they don't necessarily have interests that match, if they lie, <laughs> you have to basically spin a wheel if you have to lie. Uh, there's a lot of chance involved in this, I suppose, just like actual dating, <laughs> which is uh, appropriate. Yeah, lots of, <laughs> lots of opportunities for confusion and uh, misinterpretation. So, so you bang on the money, really, for, yeah. uh, first, for first dates especially, which are you know, all about uh, awkwardness and confusion and just getting everything horribly, horribly wrong. I haven't yes. been on a first date in years, but I still have palpitations about that. <laughs> yeah, it's just very nerve-wracking. So uh, you've seen here we had to spin the wheel. Here we're spinning the love handle again. And this is about uh, to find a conversation topic. Uh, we, we decided on uh, um, hairstyle here. Like, oh yeah, I think that's good. Okay, good. This is working out pretty well. We don't even have to lie. Pretty happy about that. Uh, they both have green eyes, and I think Minty here really likes green eyes. Oh, and here we have a little matching game where we're trying to create a cool story. We want to tell a cool story uh, for our dates. Looks like we've uh, an underwater hotel where she witnessed a bizarre mating ritual of a sea slug. <laughs> so this game is very, it's written with like a, a certain zany style that's very uh, kind of cute and appealing, I think. Uh, yeah, it's interesting that uh, they've tried to recreate the complexity of a date with all these mini games. Do you think yes. it's a, do you think it's a success the way they've done that? I think it is. I mean, I think it really sort of fits yeah. the tone of you know, you're always talking about kind of minutia here, like oh, what are you interested in? Or I like the way you look, or I like your hair, or, I like your clothes. You know, you're not really talking about deep topics here, so it kind of makes sense that a little kind of shallow mini game would be the way that you know. <laughs> They're recreating the experience of fiddling around with sort of shallow topics, trying to make things work. Oh, and here's a little bit of math. We had to figure out the tip. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to end up with someone who doesn't know how to work out a 15% tip. Or That's even right. A 10% tip. That seems a bit cheap. But, but <laughs> that is another thing about dates is that you're looking for tiny, tiny signals, aren't you? How does Always. your date treat the waiter? What sort of food out right uh, now. are they going to order? The all that stuff. Yeah, all these little things. And this date went really well, so I think we're... Oh, yeah, it worked out! We have we have achieved couplehood here in this in this state. So it looks like Waylon and Minty kind of got together. Pretty Straight happy. to the hot tub. That was a hell of a day. Straight to the hot tub. Yes, and and that was that went so well that uh, we actually, I think, level up here basically. So the whole game is you know kind of doing these little date mini games, and then you're trying to level up and you get more options as you go. Of course, I picked Pickle Hedgehog for the the name here. <laughs> uh, reputation up. Now we're a better matchmaker, and I decided to to show you another date here, and this is between two women, another Minty, believe it or not. <laughs> we got another Minty here. Minty and Ambrosia. Minty and Ambrosia, which is, you know, kind of a perfect little lesbian uh, couple name, <laughs> I thought. Uh, this is one of the things I liked the most about the game, is that it's totally inclusive. Uh, you can have male-male pairings, female-female pairings, uh, male-female, you know, whatever uh, folks are into, which is really nice uh, and, and inclusive. I mean, certainly... Uh, LGBT icon Kitty Powers here is behind the game, so it makes sense. But I thought that was nice that they that they made you know a nice inclusive game here. Yeah, it is nice, and it, what is kind of outrageous is that we even have to pick that out and say, "Oh, look, you know, certainly people who are gay can have dates with each other in video games." <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know. I, it's funny that that's the uh, that that's a selling point, but uh, sadly it is. You know, sadly that uh, more games aren't like this. But I think it's cool, and I actually sort of like the little hairstyles on the on the queer characters and things like that. It all kind of feels 
right and it doesn't feel stereotypical or anything you know off-putting uh, at least to me so far i really like i really like the character art in general i, I think they've got they've got a nice human feel to them the characters and and that, that it goes along with the the comedy and the, the sort of warmth of the comedy that that is that is in kitty powers uh, speech speaking and jokes absolutely absolutely and you spoke with the creator and writer of this game is that correct yeah, um, and uh, it's it's Kitty Power's alter ego who who created this game. Oh, and wonderful! Yeah, he's he's been a game developer for years. He worked uh, worked for some big developers in the UK, and Kitty Powers is someone you know is is his drag uh, queen alter ego, and he's been with Kitty for a long time. He wanted to create a game in which Kitty had a role to play, and also in which that part of his personality could be explored. And he had some really interesting things to say about you know the, the sort of game that he wanted to play was about connecting people rather than running around and shooting people or besting yeah. them in, in in motor races. So I, I think it was a, a really interesting and, and, and fun idea. Yeah, that's really, really nice. I, I, I like that. The other side of games, kind of, you know, other than the other than AAA games where everything is about violence, this is about connection. Even, I, I, even if it's, you know, certainly on the surface level, but later on in the game, if you make successful matches, people will send you letters and they'll say, you know, oh, we have three kids and things worked out so well. So it's kind of like, oh, you you actually sort of, even from this surface level connection, made something kind of beautiful happen here, which is very, very sweet, I think, and very warm. Yeah, it is. And, and I, I said to I said to him, you know, his name, is, his name is Richard. I said to him, do you do you worry that the game could be a bit repetitive because you're going on these endless dates? And he said, it's actually more like an arcade game. It's more like an arcade racer. You think of the dates as like a track and like a race. And sure. You, you know, it's the sort of game that you can pop in and out of and just try to get better and better at, at besting the systems in the game, at winning, uh, at being a, a, a data or someone who helps with dates, I should say. Yeah, being a being a pro matchmaker. And and we won, we did it. <laughs> we won well at the arcade portion of the game. So thank you so much, Colin. This has been Kitty Powers Matchmaker. Oh.